This segment is brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Virus diseases have been the bane of wheat producers for a, a long, long while, and researchers here at Kansas State have sought answers against these diseases in many, many efforts over the years, and there's been a significant breakthrough along that line that we want to fill you in on now. John, tell us what approach you and Harold have been taking here in trying to address this series of viruses, and it, it is high-tech, is it not? Yes, it is, but in a sense, you take a piece of the virus— and you put it into the plant, and somehow it made the plant resistant. Now, we always thought it was a protein issue that was going on, but it turns out the plant's got its own little biological defense system. Uh, What we've done now is I've uh, took the idea, and with Harold's help through his transformation facility, we developed a set of transgenic wheat lines that have pieces of the, it's called the coat protein. It's that shell around, around the virus. And we've taken the genetic code for that protein and put it into the wheat plant. And uh, what happens is the plant recognizes that this isn't right. And so then it clips a piece of that and chops it up. But then it keeps a copy uh, for itself. And then you have a resistance we have, element. We have a resistant element. Yeah. Right. Harold, you were the technician, and with your abilities in your laboratory, how difficult is it to introduce this kind of material into wheats? It, it wasn't really too difficult at all. It's, it's doing our standard transformation uh, process where we actually introduce those small pieces, we generate the plants, and then we go for testing. So it's not really a, a too difficult process. The problem is, is with this technology John described, is only for one individual. And so if we were trying to target multiple genes, we'd have to then make another construction, another vector for a second virus and then create that transgenic, which we have done. So we have uh, different, different plants that are genetically resistant to wheat streak mosaic virus, and we have plants that are resistant to triticum. Mm-hmm. And so one of the problems we have is we would like to try to get something that has a broad resistance to all different viruses. The unique part about this, though, is that most of the viruses that infect wheat are RNA viruses. In other words, they use RNA for their genetic code. So they they all use this similar system so that we're able to target now barley yellow dwarf, soil-borne mosaic virus. We can do mixed infect. We've done mixed infection tests with wheat streak and triticum mosaic virus. And our initial results now is they're all resistant. And so... We kind of have, we think we, we're, we're a little cautious, we're very cautious, but our initial indications are is that we've come up with something that provides broad resistance to these four viruses, and we thought it was a big enough deal that we filed for a patent that for That patent this. is pending, right? That is yes. correct. It is a genetically engineering process. So where does this work go from here then? Right. Well, um, like you say, this is a genetically engineered project, and so to get it out in the marketplace is going to take a little bit, first, public perceptions and also trying to market it to uh, industry. However, we can tackle this by using a non-genetically engineered project pro- process by actually doing mutations um, and actually trying to knock those two genes, either one gene or the other gene, off. If we can silence those through mutations then we could actually go through and just put that right through the K-State breeding program without any regulations. Plant geneticist with the Department of Plant Pathology here at K-State, Harold Trick, and USDA plant pathologist, John Fellers. And once again, they have been developing a mechanism for genetically engineering wheat to build in resistance to not only a couple, but a variety of those wheat viruses. is the fast track to more jobs and America's energy independence. Advanced performance is here now. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. 